People choose their retirement homes for all sorts of reasons. This is the workshop. But it's less about the retirement part than the workspace for George Ewing. Well, this is the machine I'm working on right now, Boyd. For 36 years, George worked as an engineer at General Mills. But it wasn't until he retired that George's true passion got rolling. Oh yeah, this is, this is great. George can't help but smile at the thought his hand-cranked peanut shelling machine might someday help Africans grow food. You can only plant nuts like this, the, the whole ones. An 81-year-old retiree with a homemade contraption helping Africans? He must be dreaming. George is right here, right here in the middle. George Ewing has been. Crank away. For 30 years. One of the first machines we ever built. It was George in 1981 who peddled the idea for Compatible Technology International, a Twin Cities-based nonprofit that's taken simple designs like this human-powered potato slicer to the poorest regions of the world with no electrical power. In India, sliced potatoes meant a farmer could dry them, store them, and sell his potatoes any time of the year. And did it work? Yeah, it worked very well. So well, George and CTI kept going. This is the way poor families in Africa often grind grain to make flour. And George Ewing's simple alternative, now known internationally as the Ewing Grinder. In an hour, uh, we can produce what would be, uh, what would take a woman eight hours to do. These 20 Ewing grinders are being ready for shipment to Haiti. Hundreds of them are now in service around the globe. The key to this is that material will flow through it. But George's hands do not work alone. Some three dozen retirees, former engineers, ag professors, and farmers, volunteer time in the CTI shop, coming up with simple machines like this millet stripper and this winnower for separating grain from chaff. See, the chaff is being lifted up the tube. Hardly revolutionary until you see the way this village in Mali was winnowing grain before. Right here. George loved working for General Mills, but he engineered something special for retirement. I know it's important at General Mills to make a profit for the stockholder, but here you're improving people at a basic level. These people, for instance, in Malawi, who were stripping peanuts from plants with their fingers. It's a hand crank. Until George and the other CTI volunteers really developed several this. simple machines to do that job more efficiently, too. Uh, By all accounts, they are a hit. <laughs> this is where I adjust the rolls. All of which explains why George Ewing had to find a retirement home with a shop. That's where I live. So he has some place to work when he's not at CTI working. For when George Ewing leaves for the day with a box full of peanuts, you can bet your life he's not taking them home for a snack. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, St. Paul.